Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Monique. Today we'll be talking about a very interesting topic that I title How I Got Delivered from Yesism. Yesism is a word I coined myself and from my private dictionary. Yesism is a mental state where you say yes to every request that is made to you. For instance, a friend asks you for your newly acquired 450k wig. You say yes. Your friend comes to you and says, Lara, I need your slippers to attend a party. You say yes. Your friend comes to you and says, oh, my three sisters are coming from Abia and they need a place to stay. Can you accommodate them in your one room apartment for one whole year? You say yes. They ask you for your body. You say yes. They ask you for your toothpick. You say yes. They ask you for your undergarments. You say yes. So it's basically a problem. Why is it a problem? Yesism is a problem because... At the end of the day, when you grant those requests, you become miserable, you become sad, you hate yourself for saying yes, and you feel bad till throughout, like till that request is granted, like done and dusted, you just feel bad with yourself. So I think the reason why some of us have suffered or the reason why some of us are still suffering from yesism is because we are really worried about what people will say about us. Most of us are afraid of the fact that people will say about us that, oh, we are rude, we are unkind, we are selfish, especially when we say no. This really doesn't matter. People will definitely talk. Even if you are the best person on earth, you are the, you know, most selfless, a certain percentage of people will still call you names behind you. People will still call you rude. People will still call you selfish. People will still call you unkind. Well, how did I get my own deliverance? I got my deliverance from an incident that occurred when I was working in Banana Island. For those of you who are familiar with Lagos, you will know the distance between Banana Island and Yaba. So on this particular day, a friend of mine called me and asked me to pick her up from Yaba. And I was at work that day, but it was close to my um, closing hour. So I, I was quick, quick to say, yes because i didn't know how to say no of which going to pick up from yaba would cost me a lot i would have to rush my work i would have to drive in traffic to yaba i would have to drop her at home in traffic before heading to my own house in traffic but because i couldn't say no i said yes and i had to go through that stress what happened to me immediately after i left banana island the first thing that happened was that i eat the rear end of the vehicle in front of me whether i was chatting on the phone or whether i was sleeping i actually to date cannot say to you what led to that incident all i know is that i eat the vehicle in front of me and i had to beg i had to come out of the car apologizing you know i suffered for it eventually while i got to yaba i picked her up on our way to our house something happened again i ran into a big portal which damaged my radiator and my bumper i was extremely mad at myself I wasn't mad at my friend, but I was mad at myself for saying yes to that request in the first place. Because ordinarily, I should have thought about it and I should have said no when she made that request. Well, that day I made up my mind that I would think twice before saying yes to any request. I would think twice before saying yes. And I don't have to provide an answer to your request immediately. So what I'm going to say from this is that if I had not said, um, if I had said no to that request... Two things, I wouldn't have, you know, it's the vehicle in front of me. I wouldn't have, yeah, ran into that portal which damaged my car. I would have had a good night rest and peace of mind. So what I'm going to say to us today is that getting delivered from yesism is something you need to do yourself. No one is going to help you. You're not going to get delivered by a pastor or by any, I don't know. You just need to do it by yourself. You need to take steps to see how best, you know, you can, you know, think about people's requests and when to say yes and when to say no. Because I know it's really not easy for every one of us to, you know, to start declining requests that make us miserable if we grant them. I'm going to tell us about some baby steps we can take to get us our deliverance. And the first step is that when people make some requests to you or they make requests of you, you can tell them to give you some time to think about the request. You don't have to grant the request immediately. Tell them to give you some time. So the time you have to think about the request, you are able to process whether to say yes or no. If you're going to say no, you can say no through different media. You can send a message, you can send a mail. 
you can call them up and say i'm sorry i won't be able to grant your request or whatever request it is you're able to articulate it in a very polite manner and for those of us who are very bold we can speak you know you can talk to people well the way you feel comfortable talking to them you can tell them no outrightly that oh, i'm sorry i would not be able to grant your request and when you are saying no please be assertive be firm don't be uh, I don't know, maybe when you are maybe or you, know, you are doing knowing people, some people are manipulative when they make requests, so they will manipulate you to the point where you don't know when you say yes. So you need to be assertive and firm. While being assertive and firm, you should also try not to be rude, you should be polite. Some of us, when people tell us to do some things for them or ask them, they ask us to do some things for them before we even say no, our brows are already raised, like so that person already knows that. That is a no. That is not actually cool. Try as much as possible to be polite when saying no. Also, another way to go about it is when you know someone is about to make a request of you, you can either tell them to send a message or in, or to send you an email. This can happen if, maybe, for instance, you're on the phone with a friend, you've already you know talked about so many things and you already have this idea that this person is going to make a request. You can just tell them, I'm busy, I need to get something done now. I'm not asking you to lie, but if you're indeed busy or you have something to do, you can tell them that you're busy, you need to drop a call now, and that whatever the request they, they may have, they should send it to you via email or text message. So when you do send it via email or text message, you have sufficient time to reply. You don't need to reply immediately. Give it some thought. Think about it. Do I need to grant this request? If it works for you, grant it. If it does not, if it's going to leave you miserable in the hand, please say you know politely and be assertive also the last step i'm going to talk to you about is that when you cannot grant a request or when you know you are not going to be you won't be able to grant this request just offer an alternative an alternative alternatives work for instance the day my friend asked me to pick her up at chaba i could easily have offered her an alternative an alternative would have been to tell her to take uber and that i would pay for the trip that would have saved me a lot of time, strength, energy, peace of mind. I would have gotten home from work in good time. I would have had enough time to rest and above all, I would have had my peace of mind. That being said, I just want to mention to you that there are benefits when you say no. There are some advantages to it. And one of the advantages is that you get more time to yourself. You get more time to do things you're ordinarily supposed to do with your time. And then secondly, it earns you more respect. If you're the type who says yes to everything, for instance, people ask you to attend birthday parties, you are there. They ask you to attend funerals, you are there. They ask you to attend six months birthday, you are there. They ask you to attend, you know, you're just everywhere, you go everywhere. Gradually, you lose your self-respect. People won't respect you because they see you here and there. But when you you choose where to go you choose what parties to attend you are selective you know you earn people's respect and also it boosts your own confidence when you're assertive when you're able to say no when you need to say no you know you boost your confidence you are more confident that yes you know i can say no when it's necessary to say no so guys thank you so much for listening to this week's episode of monix if you have at one time suffered from yesism and you know you've been you got delivered through other means apart from the ones I've, i i talked about here please let me know in the comment section someone might be watching someone might also learn from you thank you guys i'll see you next week take care bye